So she does one squad in two hours. So that's her rate for Tina. And then Steve, we're gonna write Steve's rate. It takes him four hours to clean one squad. So he does one squad in four hours. And then it says, how long would it take both Tina and Steve to clean one squad together? So we're gonna add those rates together and we wanna know how much or how long it would take them both to clean one squad. So it's gonna be one squad over X hours because we don't know how long it's going to take them. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add one half plus one fourth to see what that's equal to. One half plus one fourth. So we can multiply this to have a denominator of four by multiplying the bottom by two and the top by two. So it's two fourths. So two fourths plus one fourth is equal to three fourths. So now instead of this, we can write three fourths is equal to one over X. So now we can go ahead and cross multiply. Four times one is equal to three times X. Four is equal to three X, divide both sides by three and x is equal to four over three. Remember, x is equal to hours or in time. So four over three, you wouldn't say that as, oh, it's gonna take me four thirds of an hour. No, so we gotta figure out how much this would be in time. So first we have to take four thirds and make it from an improper fraction, which it is now, to a mixed number. How do we do that? We go the denominator into the numerator. It goes into four one time. So it's one whole, and then you subtract three, and you have one remaining over three. So four thirds is equal to one and one thirds. So, but again, you wouldn't say it takes me one and one thirds hour in order to do something. You would say it takes me one hour and a certain amount of minutes. So if there's 60 minutes in an hour and you're trying to find a third of that, you would divide it by three, it would be 20 minutes. So one hour and 20 minutes, it would take the two of them to clean one squad car.